A school board meeting in Loudoun County, Virginia. A brawl breaking out and a couple of people were arrested. Parents protesting the woke school policies. But things really get heated after officials try to shut down debate during the meeting. As long as you Marxists push your unconstitutional agenda on my child, she will not be returning back to Loudoun County schools. You're teaching children to hate others because of their skin color. And you're forcing them to lie about other kids' gender. Resign! Resign! And now the uh, chair of the school board is accusing parents of, quote, a dog whistle politics and says she will continue to focus on equity. There's that word for students. Not equality, but equity. How can you have equity for students? That means they all have to have the same outcome. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Anyway, I, that's not a question. My question is, I've never seen a, a kind of a cult-like thinking spread so fast in so many different areas of the world. You have the Joint Chief of Staff, General Mark Milley, really? defending critical race theory. So it's gotten to the military. Is this where the war is going to take place, at the school? <laughs> well, when you, I just think that, you know, uh, America is run by local districts, right? Uh, uh, yes. The Democrats don't love that. Yeah. Right. Remember, we just had a big fight yesterday in the House, although in the Senate, although it was 50 50. So it wasn't that big a fight, um, but split right down the middle on voting rights because the Democrats want to federalize the whole thing. Yeah. And but I think that a lot of times progressives are very, very patient mm -hmm. and they'll just get a little put a little something over here, a little something over here and let it spread. Well, this time it didn't work out. And now you have people going to school board meetings that they've probably never been to a school board meeting in their life. Yeah. And now they're there every night. The thing that happened here was really unfortunate. There was 255 people, I think, um, signed up to speak. They only got through 59 of them, and then they cut off debate. Right. I think the school board would have been better off just sitting back and saying, have at it, you know, and let, and let them get, let the air out. Yeah. Jesse, we now know uh, over the past year that the teachers' unions are corrupt. CRT is intellectually corrupt and even psychologically damaging. It feels like the time is right for an educational tea party, like a movement. I, agree. I think you should lead you it. You said that yesterday. I know. I I'm... shouldn't lead anything. <laughs> and I agree with this you. Is this is one this, way you could save the world. This is... <laughs> How you saved education. <laughs> this is the right and the left, black and white, uniting against the teaching of racism and reverse racism to our students. And that's what this is. This is reverse racism. And people are galvanized. And I would say it's a new part of the Tea Party. Joe Biden himself said America is not a racist country. Mm -hmm. Kamala Harris agreed. So critical race theory is teaching that we are a racist country. So this is even too crazy for Joe and Kamala. And look what they're doing. I looked at the Loudoun County little handbook. They are creating an anonymous racism snitch line. Ah. They're oh, saying you have to confront how white people are unconsciously biased against black people, and they're demanding white teachers identify their white fragility and they don't want white teachers to see color they don't want they want they don't want them to be colorblind and and that's crazy and that's what people are upset about and and it's all across the country in Oregon uh, math is racist they're saying that black people can't succeed in this country that if you're white you're only succeeding because of a white supremacist system that your grandparents set up it's horrible and I'm glad people are rising up and snuffing it out. Yo, Geraldo, there is a, a, what to, Jesse's talking about. There's a weird kind of white supremacy in the con the condescending nature of this, of the white leftist who oh, yeah. feel that they can, they're the person yeah. that can help the the black downtrodden person who can't who can't get the jobs or whatnot on their own. But as effete and manipulative as you may think they are, children are very resilient. Mm, children think. can hear a teacher preaching this or that. And, uh, you know, I had three kids for, graduate from, uh, two graduate from Spence and one left when we moved to Cleveland. Uh, but they, their politics are all over the place. Mm -hmm. They're not at all indoctrinated. Uh, I, I think that sometimes let, I, teachers are always more liberal than students. Why are teachers so progressive? I think a lot of teachers are, are and I'm generalizing, of course, <laughs> I think that teachers feel that they have a very tough job for which they are underpaid and underappreciated and so they they rail against the system. The kids hear it, then the kids go on and they live their lives, and the lessons you take are the people you relate to. Uh, but my kids turned out just fine, and I'm, I'm not worried about critical race theory. I'm not worried about uh, any of these uh, these ideas. E pluribus unum. That's the idea that I tell my kids out of many Parent, Parents like Asra Nomani are worried about the race to the bottom, as Greg was talking about. Uh, take over the board. Have at it. That's what they do in corporate America, and I'm just glad my mama is not alive 
because she would have showed up at that meeting with a tennis racket and I'd be <laughs> bailing her ass out of jail. There you go. Well, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.